بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو اور ٹاپک آف ڈسکشن فار دس سیشن از کو ویرینس آف اے رینڈم ویکٹر کو ویرینس آف اے رینڈم ویکٹر رائٹ سو دی کو ویرینس آف اے رینڈم ویکٹر از ان فیکٹ اے میٹرکس If a random vector is uh, an element, n element vector, then the covariance uh, will be an n by n uh, uh, matrix. So the covariance, uh, how do we calculate that matrix? Let's uh, uh, begin with that discussion. The covariance, it is usually denoted by letter C. with this subscript uh, is the same as the name of the random vector so subscript is c c subscript x and we put a bar here to denote that this is a related to a vector quantity so the covariance c x bar of a random vector x bar we put a bar here over x to denote this is a random vector uh, in print and in books usually this is Uh, the random vector is denoted using a bold face uh, capital letter so the covariance cx uh, of a random vector x uh, with expected value with expected value uh, equal to mu x bar right is given by So this is the expression for the covariance. So this is the expectation of this function. Uh, x bar minus mu x bar multiplied by the transpose of the same, right? So x bar minus mu x bar. And we put a dash here to denote the transpose, right? Let us label this as equation number one. So as I said earlier, if uh, a uh, random vector has n elements then the covariance cx bar is an n by n matrix right and furthermore uh, this expression can be further simplified uh, into this form is given by expected value of x x dash bar minus product of the expected value of x and the transpose of the expected value of x and this is in fact the correlation right correlation of x so we can write it like this correlation of x minus mu x bar and mu x dash bar so let's label this as equation number two so we can derive uh, this relationship from this one so how do we do that uh, let's expand this expression first so this transpose here can be moved in size so transpose of this entire subtracted subtraction uh it, it can be uh, written as uh, x dash minus mu x dash right so we can rewrite this equation in this form so c x bar is given by expected value of x bar minus mu x bar right multiplied by x dash bar minus mu x dash bar right and then we can now multiply both these expressions so this is given by expected value of x multiplied by x dash so x bar multiplied by x dash bar then x multiplied by mu x so minus x multiplied by mu x dash bar right and then uh, minus mu x multiplied by x dash bar here 
and then minus minus plus mu x multiplied by mu x dash bar here right so the order of multiplication is important so uh, because these are vector quantities all these are vector quantities so the order of multiplication does matter so we can now open uh, move this uh, expectation uh, inside so expectation is a linear operation so we can write it like this expected value of x bar x dash bar minus expected value of x bar and mu x dash bar minus expected value of uh, mu x uh, bar and x dash bar plus expected value of mu x uh, bar and mu x dash bar right uh, but we know that uh, 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 the expected value of a random variable multiplied by a constant is equal to the constant multiplied by the ex expected value because you see that uh, uh, this uh, mu x uh, and mu x uh, dash uh, are constants these are the expected values so these are numbers so these are uh, constants so uh, using this relationship uh, we know that that expected value of a multiplied by x so a is a constant here x is uh, some random variable here so that is equal to a multiplied by the expected value of x right and similarly uh, expected value of a constant is equal to the constant itself so this product here is a constant right so the expected value of this constant is equal to the constant itself and similarly this is a random variable x dash multiplied by a constant so this relationship can be applied here so we can rewrite this expression cx dash is equal to expected value of x bar x dash bar minus expected value of x and mu x dash here minus mu x expected value of x dash here plus mu x bar mu x dash bar because this is a constant so expected value of constant is equal to the constant right and we also know that uh, this uh, for example expected value of uh, x is equal to mu x right and similarly expected value of x dash bar is equal to mu x uh, dash bar right so we can use these relationships here within this equation so this can be rewritten again like this expected value of x bar x dash bar minus mu x bar mu x dash bar minus mu x bar and mu x dash bar plus mu x and mu x dash right so if you see these are both similar uh, expressions and one with negative sign one with plus sign so these can be cancelled out so we can rewrite this as expected value of x bar x dash bar minus mu x bar mu x dash bar right and this is basically the correlation of random vector x so correlation is usually denoted using this r subscript x minus mu x bar and mu x dash bar so this gives us the expression for the covariance of uh, uh, random vector x so we can label this uh, as equation number three two and three are the same anyway we label it as three so to further uh, demonstrate uh, to derive uh, a covariance matrix for example for a, an example uh, random vector so let us consider for example a random vector uh, with three elements so let x be a random vector with three elements x1 x2 and x3 right so then 
uh, x dash bar the transpose will be x1 x2 x3 this will be a row vector now so we can derive this expression the product x multiplied by x dash will be product of this column vector x1 x2 x3 multiplied by x1 x2 x3 this row vector here and uh, x1 multiplied by x1 will be x1 square then x1 multiplied by x2 then x1 multiplied by x3 likewise the second row x2 x1 x2 square x2 x3 then x3 x1 x3 x2 then x3 square so we obtained a 3 by 3 matrix from the multiplication of uh, a three column uh, a three element column vector and three element row vector here so now we can uh, derive the correlation of random vector x which is the expectation of x uh, multiplied by x dash the transpose so expectation is a linear operation so uh, the expectation of uh, x multiplied by x dash is the expectation of individual elements so we can rewrite as expectation of x1 square right then expected value of x1 x2 then expected value of x1 x3 expected value of x2 x1 expected value of x2 square then expected value of x2 x3 expected value of x3 x1 expected value of x3 x2 expected value of x3 square so this gives us the the correlation of random vector x so let me call this equation number four here right so from uh, uh, for this from this expression we have calculated this part of the uh, equation right so now we can calculate this one also to calculate to further derive the covariance matrix right so for example the mu x which is the expected value of x is given by the expectation of the individual elements in this vector so this will be expected value of x1 expected value of x2 and expected value of x3 right and similarly uh, mu x uh, uh, dash bar transpose will be equal to the expected value of x1 expected value of x2 and expected value of x3 just that it was a row vector now so the product mu x multiplied by mu x dash is given by the product of these two uh, vectors right so this will be uh, expected value of x1 expected value of x2 expected value of x3 this vector multiplied by expected value this vector row vector expected value of x1 x2 expected value of x3 so let us multiply uh, this vector here now to get uh, mu x and mu x dash so mu x mu x dash is given by expected value of x1 multiplied by the expected value x1 so this will be the expected value of x1 square right and then uh, we have expected value of x1 multiplied by expected value of x2 so that will be expected value of x1 multiplied by expected value of x2 and then expected value of x1 multiplied by expected value of x3 so expected value of x1 multiplied by expected value of 
x3 here, right? Next, uh, expected value of x2 multiplied by expected value of x1. This is the first entry, first element in the second row. And uh, next, uh, we have expected value of x2 multiplied by expected value of x2. So that will be square of the expected value of x2. And next, expected value of x2 multiplied by expected value of x3. So e x2 e x3 here. And likewise, expected value of x3, expected value of x1, expected value of x3 multiplied by expected value of x2 and then square of the expected value of x3 here. So this gives us uh, the the second entry in this equation here. So we have this, this uh, matrix, we have this matrix, we just need to subtract both the matrix now. So uh, we need to subtract this matrix from this one. Let's call this matrix number, equation number five here. So, so let's turn to a new page to get more space. Uh, anyway, let's do here because uh, looking it back at from the other entries will be difficult. So uh, the covariance matrix is given by Rx bar multiplied by mu x uh, bar mu x dash bar, right? So Rx is equation 4 and mu x mu x dash is equation 5. So let's subtract both of them. So uh, this will be given by, for example, expected value of uh, the first entry, expected value of x1 square minus square of this expected value expected value of x1 and this is here right and then expected value the second entry expected value of x1 x2 minus the product of x1 expected value of x1 and expected value of x2 right and the third entry in the same row uh, will be expected value of x1 x3 minus expected value of x1 expected value of multiplied by expected value of x3 so these are the three entries due to lack of space I have written down it here right but these are the three entries of the same mat of the first row of this matrix right covariance matrix and uh, this second row expected value of uh, x2 x1 minus this expected value of x2 multiplied by expected value of x1 right and the second entry will be expected value of x2 squared minus square of the expected value of x2 right the third entry expected value of x2 x3 minus expected value of x2 multiplied by expected value of x3. Now the third row, expected value of x3, x1 multiplied by, sorry, the minus here, minus expected value of x3 multiplied by expected value of x1. Then expected value, second entry, expected value of x3, x2 minus expected value of x2 and expected value of x3 right the third entry expected value of x3 squared minus square of the expected value of x3 so this is the covariance matrix now that we have obtained after subtracting this matrix from this one according to this formula. So, but if you notice, uh, 
this expected value of x1 squared minus square of the expected value of x1 is basically variance of x1 right this entry here and the second entry here is uh, expected value of x1 x2 minus expected value of x1 multiplied by expected value of x2 is covariance of x1 and x2 this is covariance of x1 and x2 right likewise this th third entry here this is covariance of x1 x3 so we can in fact rewrite this uh, covariance matrix uh, in a compact form like this is given by this is variance of x1 this first entry here right this is covariance of x1 x2 this is covariance of x1 comma x3 right and in the second row this first entry here is covariance of x2 x1 and this diagonal entry here is variance of x2 right then this third entry here in the second row is covariance of x2 x3 and the first entry in the third row is covariance of x3 and x1 the second entry here is covariance of x3 and x2 and the diagonal entry is variance of x3 so as you can see this is the covariance matrix for a 3 by 3 uh, for a 3 element random vector and this is a 3 by 3 matrix this covariance matrix and each of the entries of this covariance matrix is a variance itself the diagonal entries are variance as the variances of variance of the individual random variables of the column vector this is the variance of x1 variance of x2 and this is the variance of x3 and the entries uh, which are outside of the diagonal are basically covariance covariance of x1 x2 covariance of x, x1 x3 and likewise all these other entries are covariances so this is a 3 by 3 matrix covariance matrix for a 3 element uh, random vector so this concludes our discussion of the covariance of a, a random vector